This next story is a heartwarming tale about a random act of kindness. 21 years after arriving in Canada, a former Bosnian refugee, now a Vancouver-based lawyer, is reaching out to a stranger who took her family out for dinner the same year she arrived in Canada in 1995. Tamara Ramusevich is that woman. She joins me now from Vancouver. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So take us back over two decades ago. What was your family's interaction with this man? What happened? Sure. Um, so in, in the fall of 1995, in late September, my family arrived to Vancouver, my parents, my brother and I. Um, and we were placed in Welcome House uh, here in downtown Vancouver, which is a temp temporary accommodation for refugees and immigrants uh, to Vancouver. And uh, we, we stayed there a month while we uh, got used to the city and found uh, found uh, uh, another residence for, for the family. Um, and in those early days, actually, in the very in the first few weeks of being in Canada, we spent a fair bit of time uh, in that neighborhood around Welcome House, which includes David Lamb Park. Um, at that time, I was nine years old, and my younger brother was seven. So we liked going to the park and playing, and, and our, um, my parents would take us there. Um, and there was one one afternoon um, where my dad took my brother and I to the park um, and nearby there was a father and son kicking the soccer ball around playing um, at some point that ball rolled over to us we we were invited to join the game by them and we ended up playing with them um, I you know I would add that at that point in time we only spoke about 10 words or phrases of English uh, wow. between the three yeah uh, but this you know this obstacle really didn't deter that father and son from wanting to engage with us and interact with us um, and we played, uh, we played soccer for a, a little bit with them. And then immediately after, um, he indicated that he was going to dinner with his son and he asked us to join them. And so you all went out for dinner and then what, you never saw this man and his son again? No, we didn't. <laughs> so he actually, he did provide us his, his contact information, um, his name and his contact information, but there was so much going on in those early days. They were really overwhelming, and, and we did end up moving um, a few times after Welcome House that my dad, unfortunately, lost that contact information. Um, so we never had an opportunity to, to get back in touch and communicate the things that we couldn't back then that afternoon. And so what has inspired you to reach out now and try to find this man and his son? Hello? What inspired you now to reach out and try to find this man and his son? Well, it's, it's something we've been thinking about uh, for a little while, my family, that is. Um, it's really one of our fondest memories of the first few uh, weeks in Canada. Of course, there were you know, a number of other people that were kind and welcoming to us, but that one sort of really stood out because of, of its spontaneous nature. Um, and last year was the 20-year anniversary of our family's arrival to Canada. Uh, it also re uh, coincided with the refugee crisis around the world. And, and those events really made us think um, and reflect on how grateful we were to be in a place uh, like Vancouver and like Canada. Um, but more recently, what sort of really spurred me to take action <laughs> and reach out to the media on this um, has been the U.S. election. Um, and, and the rhetoric around that election, uh, the attacks on various communities, including uh, refugees and immigrants. Um, and, you know, I, I would add that uh, it was really, it, it hit home and was, it, it, those attacks and, and felt very personal in nature. Uh, one of the reasons why my family had to flee uh, Bosnia and the conflict there was my, my father and his, fam uh, his family's uh, Muslim identity um, so now to be in a world where there's suggestion, you know, that Muslims would be allowed um, into the United States, that that really hit home um, in, in, in an entirely <laughs> different yeah. way than anything before. Well, um, we wish you we wish you the very best of luck, and it just goes to show how one small act of kindness can go a long way. Tamara Ramusevic, I'm so glad you were able to talk to us. All the best. Let us know if you are able to track down this man and his son. Have a great day. Thank you so much for having me.